Another application in the lawn and garden fertilizer world that the Rolla mixer is used heavily is in organic fertilizers. It's actually a surge of materials that are coming on strong to eliminate chemicals in the water tables that become more and more popular ma manufacturing organic fertilizers as well. And as you know, fertilizer is very corrosive materials. In fact, uh, putting the Rolla mixer into an environment uh, like such as fertilizer is why we actually made a design change back in the mid 60s so that you have just one moving part at a nominal 3 RPM that is totally sealed. And it's really important that in the fertilizer world that you have a sealed vessel because just the mixture of the elements and fertilizer dust creates a very highly corrosive uh, atmosphere. And so uh, we have customers who do uh, soluble fertilizers as well, where they're blending these materials that are then diluted out with water and then sprayed onto the crops. So there's such a variety of things that are uh, manufactured in the Rolla mixer. It's an area that we've uh, got a tremendous amount of experience in, and we have the ideal tool for manufacturing those types of products. Materials uh, that are sprayed on, like this 0.2% Merit, uh, onto this lawn and garden fertilizer. It's critical that uh, the finished product has exactly 0.2% merit on it and not more or less because otherwise it won't meet label claim. And so people are, are actually uh, using the Rolla mixer to do these specialty applications because those chemicals are expensive, they need to apply them uniformly, and they need to do it bag after bag, batch after batch with that consistency. This four-ton capacity Continental Roller Mixer is installed in a fertilizer plant down in Florida. And uh, they'll make blends that are, um, in some cases, up to 11 different ingredients for palm trees and ornamentals. And uh, the Roller Mixer is so gentle, as you can see, it rotating at only 3.5 RPM. It's ideal for blending fertilizer because uh, you can mix these dissimilar particle size and densities. And as you see, the finished product coming out of the Roller Mixer and then uh, is conveyed onto a bulk filling operation where they take the blended product and fill it into, uh, in this case, Killebrew uh, containers. So uh, in, the, in the blending of, of fertilizer, again, as I was saying earlier, mixing um, these uh, corrosive ingredients in with uh, the elements of uh, the high humidities it works well. So the finished product is um, transferred into these green Killebrew containers, which are then uh, set off to filling the spreaders that go into citrus fields for lemons, uh, grapefruit, and uh, orange groves. In this fertilizer bag plant, the uh, customer has automated packaging equipment that picks the uh, plastic bag off of the stack, sets it, and fills it through the automatic filling operation where they heat seal the bag after it's been filled and then each bag, which is made up of a consistent uniform blend of fertilizer coming out of the Rolla mixer, comes down the line to automatic palletizing equipment. And each bag, as I was saying, gets stamped with an individual code and then gets oriented into a stack of five uh, bags, which are then squished together to brought into a level. And there's so many levels per pallet. And you'll see as they bring these five bags together, squish them together, and then drop them down onto the pallet below. And they repeat that process until they get the layers, some eight layers uh, thick of a finished pallet, 2,000 pound capacity of blended fertilizer.